It was the end of the proverbial 40 days for these five officers after they were caught red-handed soliciting for bribes from unsuspecting road users. In what appeared to be an undercover operation, ESCC detectives waylaid the officers stationed at the Mambole roadblock only to end up in a scuffle. It's alleged that one of the police officers, scared and confused, fired in the air to scare the ESCC detectives so that he could make a run for it and rescue his colleagues. Instead, the act boomeranged on him. We are handling that. The officer is in a good condition, is in hospital, doing very well. And even the one that was injured on the leg is, is also take, been taken to hospital. So everything is under control. We can't finish our investigation in 24 hours. So we will give them a police bond and we will bond them to be reporting to us every week until we finish the investigations. Yeah. And that does not mean that we will stop. We will continue doing the sting operation but in conjunction with the police. One officer escaped on foot. In the meantime, the five traffic police officers were processed awaiting to be arraigned. This, as in Likoni, the Kenya Defense Forces defended itself after a 19-year-old border border operator was shot dead by a Kenya Navy soldier at the Mtongwe barracks. Ali kwa mempe amembe baskar, akampele kavizuri, sasa nyakatiza kuruni, ndo akapigwa risasi. Ali vopigwa risasi. Sapo, ali ambwa simame yako simama, mtoto ali ogopa. KDF spokesman Colonel Ponzuguna says that officers manning the entry were forced to gun down Leonard Komora after he ignored the warning shots, prompting the soldier manning the entrance to shoot at him twice. The matter is now under investigations. Brenda Cheriot, K24 Evening Edition.